went to um, Kaiser. I didn't take my labs on Friday, so I have to go get my lab work done today and then drop off my FMLA paperwork because I think one of my FMLA claims expired um, last month. So I need to have that updated. Um, not feeling, you know, 100, but I'm not feeling the worst either. So while I'm up here, I'm going to see if I can be assigned to a new OBGYN. I was supposed to do my research and like, you know, look to see what doctors they had available, but she pretty much said that all of the um, OBGYNs here are pretty good. She worked with all of them, so she recommend, she didn't recommend any one over the other. She was like, you'll, you'll be in good hands, um, either one you choose. So I'm like, all right, um, I'm good with that. Only thing is I'm not gonna get the male doctor. I never had an OBGYN male doctor and I think I don't think I ever will. I don't know, I just don't think, I don't know, it's not comfortable for me. Some women prefer OBGYN men over women, but me, I don't. I'm just like, mm, it's kinda awkward to have them, even though he's using a utensil and it's his career and everything. It's just awkward to have a man, you know, do, do those things down there. And that's not somebody that I'm with or whatever. So, comment below if you like OBGYN men doctors over women doctors and why. So, yeah, I'm about to go get that done. And then I'm probably going to go get some ice. I didn't eat anything. Um, just because I wanted my numbers to be as accurate as possible. So, I got to go in here and drink this old nasty sugar drink. Ugh, that's like full of sugar. I'm, I'm not in the mood for that this morning. But I'm just like, whatever. I got to get it done and over with. And then, um, you know, depending on how it plays out, I might be late to work because it's already like 9, 9.05. I think we work for 10. So I'll probably end up going in late today or just taking the day. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, y'all. So hopefully I won't be in here too long. But we'll see. All right, so leaving Kaiser now. So I took the sugar test. I had to stay there for an hour. Now I'm about to go home. Let me find my keys. I feel a little nauseous from that drink. people park so damn close. Oh, I hate that. Why do you park so close to people? I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all could hear that, but I'm in your car. So, um, yeah, as I was drinking that, um, drink, you know, it's real sweet, and, um, I don't know how people just guzzle it down like that, but she kept saying, you done yet? You done yet? And I'm like, I'm not done. And, um, finally I was like, let me just drink the rest of this thing down so she could stop asking me if I'm done. And then, um... She was like, all right, so you just have to wait an hour. So I was like, dang. I forgot I had to actually wait there for an hour. And then she took my blood, checked me for all my vitamins and stuff. And um, I did like a urine sample. So I come back, I actually had to move OBGYNs because if you guys saw in the previous vlog at our uh, prenatal visit, our OBGYN is not going to be delivering. She's not assigned to the hospital that we want to deliver at. So um, I had to move to a different OBGYN. So um, luckily, the new OBGYN has an opening today at 3.40. So I go to see her today at 3.40. So um, I basically took off work today just because of the doctor's appointment, I'm already late, 
and then I have to go back to see the new OBGYN today so I can have my after my lay paperwork updated because it has to be updated by my OBGYN. So that's what I'm going through and then um, Wednesday I have my physical therapy appointment and then on Thursday I have my eye exam. So anywho y'all, let me um, go ahead and get my butt to the house. So I'm back home and this is what I'm eating. Um, Sean brought me some Caribbean chicken soup yesterday and I didn't eat it. So I'm having that and then of course I got my big jug of water. So yes, I'm feeling so good to be eating. I didn't want to eat nothing before the lab, so. All right, y'all, so I got my nails did. I got my nails did. <sighs> and usually I pay like, I want to say usually I pay, well, the last couple times I've been paying like $100 to get my nails done. But um, I wasn't in the mood for all the design and all that this time. So I just did something simple and I only paid $35. So I think I'm just gonna stick with that for right now because they still look good. And I'll be wanting um the loudness all the time. It's definitely a good treat to myself, but not all the time. So this is what my nails look like. Yeah, so love the color. Love the color. And now I'm just um about to park real quick before I start driving. I need to find a UPS store. So I pulled up to the UPS store um, to drop off the cameras, but I need to use a computer to print the labels, the return labels, and they charge like a $5 computer rental. And then, um, have a good one. He's so cute, old people are so cute. Um, they charge a $5 rental for the computer and then of course for printing so I'm like mm, that doesn't make sense because I'm about to go to the library and print for um, some flyers for Sean and I'm like I might as well just print my labels there and not have to pay the $5 computer um, rental and then me and Araya are gonna meet up and um, grab lunch real quick before she starts work so yeah that's what I'm gonna do y'all and then I'm gonna um, head back out this way be time for me to probably get Kaden off the bus and then go to my doctor's appointment. Do you remember how you held me then? Now you got me reaching my heart. Got me falling again More times than I can get out I, I, I. Down in the deep of my mind I call for you and you're always inside Down in the deep of my mind How long do I got to keep you? Y'all, it's so nice out here Like, it's such a beautiful, beautiful day, y'all at the library printed out some flyers for Sean and printed out my labels to return um, I was gonna drive around and see if I could find a UPS store out here but I think well it depends I'll probably look to see if there's one near the area that I'm in like right here if not I'm gonna just go ahead when I leave here and head back home I'm just gonna stop back by the one I was just at and um, ship it off there so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and uh i just texted araya but she hasn't responded yet so she probably was in the shower so i'm gonna just pull up to the spot and wait a little bit and then she should be hitting me up shortly but we're just gonna get a salad they have like a super salad deal so i might get both and then save my soup for dinner but we'll see but i definitely um am gonna move for a salad 
And I think I'm gonna start taking out my braids tonight because they look raggedy as I don't know what. I just haven't been having the energy to do it, but they're not gonna come out themselves. Well, not all of them at least. So I'm gonna have to take them out because they are looking tore up from the floor up, y'all. Anyway, let me go ahead and get this good front of the door parking spot. I just left lunch with Araya, and that was nice. And um, we just walked around the parking lot a little bit because I had a little bit of time to spare. But now I'm headed to go home to put the rest of my food in the refrigerator and then catch Kaden from the bus and um, go to my doctor's appointment which is at 3.40. So I got about 45 minutes or so. I mean, is that my sister? Oh no, I thought that was my sister. I'm all in her face too. She was probably like, what are you looking at? But yeah, so it ended up being very, very hot today. It's beautiful, but it still has like a little breeze. Um, but I mean, it's 82 degrees. I was thinking about possibly taking Kaden to the pool, but it's a little too hot. I mean, too, um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to do it because maybe Thursday on my day off, I'll do it. But right now, I just want to focus on my, um, my doctor's appointment. So this appointment basically is with the new doctor since I haven't seen that doctor yet and going forward this will be my new OBGYN. I didn't want to have to wait until my next um, prenatal appointment because technically I'm not supposed to go back to the doctors until the 12th. I mean until my 12th week. Tomorrow I'll be nine weeks exactly and I didn't want to wait um, that long to see my new doctor. Especially just with the whole sickness going on and things like that and me having to take a lot of frequent um, bathroom breaks while I'm working. I just want her to be aware of everything so that it's documented and I can kind of get the ball rolling with either a doctor's note to excuse me for that time or FMLA, whatever needs to happen to cover my time. Because y'all know the morning sickness I'm experiencing is real. But it's not going to last much longer. I'm hoping that it'll you know after my 12th week it'll be done and over with so it comes and goes it doesn't really stay around as long as it did before um it usually comes and it'll stay around for a couple hours or like today i came home from the doctor's appointment and i um, mean from getting my lab work done and i ate that um chicken soup that sean had bought me and when i ate it i started feeling sick you know what i'm saying and I know I like chicken soup. I ate chicken soup the other day from the same place and everything. So I started to feel a little sick. And um, I just, you know, just it really just depends. And then I had to kind of like, you know, chill out for a little bit. But it usually just sticks around for a couple hours. I went and got my nails done while I was getting my nails done. My stomach wasn't really feeling all that great. Um, I had to go to the bathroom like three times while I was getting my nails done. So, y'all know you gotta drink a lot of water when you're pregnant, so that alone will make you go to the bathroom. So it's just, you know, it's a lot. Um, but, it's getting better. Before my morning sickness was literally staying around all day. So now it comes in spurts, lasts for a couple hours, and then I'm good. So I'm hoping I'll be good for the, re the remainder of the day. Um, I f excuse me, I feel good now. I ate a salad. Uh, for lunch, I bought a salad and I bought um, a soup. And I got the chicken chili soup, but I didn't eat the soup. So I'm going to save that for dinner. So, um, or I'll give it to Kaden for dinner. He can have it. I don't know. Whatever. We decide. <sighs> and uh, that's really pretty much it. I'm going to try to go home and try to start bagging up some clothes because I know like Sean said he was like it's a lot of clothes in this closet you're never going to wear again and he was like even after you had the baby you know what I'm saying the goal is to lose weight so he was like if you don't have any clothes to wear you'll have no choice but to lose weight and go buy some clothes and then shopping will be fun again so I'm like yeah you're right you're right 
so I'm gonna probably just keep like stuff that's stretchy because I don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of maternity clothes so if I can keep like tights you know my little shawls and stuff because I'm not doing till January so it's gonna be cold in December so I'm still gonna need some cover-up stuff but I want to get rid of some stuff a lot of my jeans um are new or newer from when I did lose weight so I'm gonna hang on to those because I'm definitely gonna get into those when I lose weight um, and after I have the baby and what else that's pretty much it I just gotta get rid of a whole lot of clothes and just start making room in the house because Sean don't even have nowhere for his clothes to fit I took up the whole dresser we were supposed to split the dresser in half I get I get three or four drawers and he gets four but I took the whole dresser over because I just have so many clothes but like he said I got stuff I ain't even gonna wear again so just get rid of it hey y'all uh, so I'm back home I went to my doctor's appointment and then I went to drop off the camera to the UPS store and I just got through eating but now I'm not feeling good so I'm getting ready to um, lay down and try to rest it off a little bit I have dinner in the oven I'm just gonna um I just picked up a, a veggie lasagna something quick for them because I'm not in the mood to cook so <clears throat> That takes like an hour and 45 minutes to cook. It's been in there maybe for like 40 minutes now. So I'm going to try to go upstairs and lay down for a little bit. Sean is out working. Caden's upstairs. Supposed to be doing homework, but y'all know he's not doing it. So I'm about to go up there and see what he's doing. Mm. What you reading? Oh, that one book? Yeah. Alright. Story recollection. We ready to go somewhere? No. Get, um, don't stop doing that in our chair, please. Keep reading. How much? Hey, y'all. Uh, so, just got through eating. Sean just got in the shower. And I'm still not feeling all that great. So, I'm about to lay it back down. Because um, I'm just out of it. So, anyway. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Not too much went on, but y'all know what time it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.